Lagos, one of the world's largest cities, generates tons of trash every day, and most of it ends up at the Olushosun dam site, creating a health hazard and contaminating the environment. The city has now come up with a new way of improving on its waste management that will see garbage turned into electricity, which the city desperately lacks. In one day, Africa's mega city of up to 21 million people, according to official estimates, produces more than 10,000 metric tons of waste. In the same day, it gets barely a few hours of power, forcing many inhabitants to rely on petrol or diesel generators. A pilot project run by the Lagos Waste Management Authority, LOMA, is working to generate power using methane extracted from rotten fruit waste and then turn it into latent power. LOMA plans to have a 25 megawatt capacity in the next five years. That is only 1% of the 2,000 to 3,000 megawatt that it estimates Lagosians demand. But it is a start. Tulu Adeo is a regional manager at LOMA. Gas is building up over a period of time in the digester. Also, you will have digestates in there in form of organic compost, like a sludge. Over a period of time, you could actually open up here and collect the sludge. This is also good for um, uh, as a fertilizer for the soil and for plants. Adeo also added that about 45% of the city's trash is made up of organic waste and converting it into something more useful and cleaner for the environment is long overdue. There are other benefits too. Methane is a greenhouse gas 25 times more potent than the carbon dioxide emitted by burning it. Despite being Africa's top oil and gas producer, Nigeria's power output is a tenth of South Africa's for a population triple the size, a major break on economic growth. The scheme, modeled on similar ones in Norway and Sweden, is part of broader efforts to clean up a city that had become known as the garbage capital of the world. Energy is in demand, waste is a headache. So there's a link between the headache and the demand. So uh, if Lagos is able to convert more of his headache into that demand, then it's, it's kind of a, uh, it bring a smart city program. You know, the city becomes smarter and uh, there's a kind of a resilience uh, that you introduce in the city programs. And that's exactly what Lagos is looking at. Traders at Ecosi Market say the project will help clean up the local planting market and also enable them to switch off their generators when the power comes on. I'll feel happy because, you know, to, to, to make fruit, to make fruit so the fruit can turn to gas and bring us lights. Yes, I'll feel happy and we really enjoy it more than, you know, now we're buying a foil for 100 naira per litre. I thought this one would be better than using petrol. The Lagos state government plans to bury the Olusho society in dirt and transform it into a green park with grass and trees built over it in future. Pipes in the ground will harness the methane bubbling underneath for the power plant.